Who are you? I don't know. You're telling me. <laughs> what was your childhood game? Shrek 2. How tall are you? 5'10. What are your plans for the future as a YouTuber? At the moment, I don't have any significant plans regarding my future as a YouTuber. Chances are that I'm still just going to upload weekly content. Do you enjoy the fan art that people make for you and what do you think about them? Every time I see a piece of fan art, it just warms my heart because it shows how much you guys like me either as a person or because of my content or all of the above. Which Splatoobers would you be interested in doing a collab with? AlphaStar716, Octoboy, VicVeon, Weebird46, Flota, Dude, and GG Gabriel Gaming. Will you be doing more ASMR at some point? Yes. What year do you think your channel will reach 1 million subscribers? We always knew you for your YouTube name. But what's your real name? My name is Lucas J Films, and I make the most amazing movies in existence, including Gremlins, Snakes on a Plane, and The Wrath of the Croissant. <laughs> <laughs> but for real though, this is my real name. Hello, what's your favorite ink color? I love the Chaos vs. Order ink colors, they're just so nice to look at. Favorite Splatoon band? Turquoise October! What do you smell like? I smell like lavender. What's your favorite Splatoon story mode? Splatoon 3's Alterna, no doubt about it. What are your aspirations for the future at any time? My biggest aspiration is for me to become successful in life. There are classes in the way, but once I get through those, I have plans for what I hope to do in the future. I do want to become a graphic designer or a film editor because I have the most experience in those fields, and I'm excited to see where I expand upon that in the future. What new weapons have you tried out that you really like? Reflux 450! I said mean things about it back then, but now we're friends. If you had the opportunity to meet anyone from the Splatoon universe, who would it be? It'd be cool to just meet anyone from the Splatoon universe, especially the Squid Sisters. Doesn't matter which one. Okay, a lot of you guys asked this one, but how did I get into Splatoon and why did I start making content for it? I answered this type of question before in my previous Q&A, but to make it quick, I liked Splatoon because it's not like your typical shooter game where you bring out an AK-47 and just kill Kill people while also getting upset when you die. It brought something new to the table with the ink functionalities. I started focusing my content on Splatoon because it's a game series I'm most familiar with, it's fun to play with friends, and there are plenty of things to do in those games. Octo Expansion Nuzlocke 1? I have no clue. What's your favorite video on this channel? I've made plenty of good videos on this channel, but my top favorite has to be this video, which is also one of the most popular videos I've ever made. What do you like to do in your free time? Hang out with friends, watch some YouTube, go to the gym, and think of what videos I want to make next. How did you come up with your name? Why are you called Epi? Back then, I had a crappy online username called Epic Game Boy. It's bad, I know. During that time, someone came up with the nickname that went by Epi, and I had to go with it because it felt more original. It's easy to spell, it's quick to say out loud, make funny jokes with it, it's something I'm comfortable with. What things are you using to record your clips? The Elgato HD 60S Plus! To those that wish to start as creators, Elgato is one of the most reliable brands. I suggest checking them out. Who's your favorite deep cut idol? I like all of them, but I'm gonna say that I like Shiver the most. Will you play other games? Maybe. I want to keep my channel focused on just Splatoon. I do have a Twitch channel where I sometimes stream games that aren't Splatoon. Feel free to check it out. What was your first and favorite console? I think my first gaming console was the Game Boy Advance SP, and my favorite console is the DS. With its highlights being Mario Kart DS, New Super Mario Bros, and Picto Chat. What are some of your favorite games other than Splatoon? This is a game I've yet to finish, but Persona 5 Royal is becoming one of my most favorite games of all time. Opinions on your favorite candy? I barely eat candy these days, but if I were to go for one right now, it'd be Maltesers. I just like how crunchy they are, it just tastes so nice even when it melts in my mouth. Which Nuzlocke was the hardest? At the moment it was the Octo Expansion Nuzlocke, but I feel like that's gonna change real soon. What is your favorite sound from Inklings or Octolings? You know how the Inkling girls go woomy and the Octoling girls go vemo? I like how the Octoling boy goes... Oh wait, was there supposed to be a sound? Did you ever run into other Splatoobers in matches? Yes, one of a million chance of encountering Jmoji in a Salmon Run match. I've also encountered Gab and Vian in Splat 2 League battles before. Do you have a consistent sleep schedule? No, I have this thing called Gamer Syndrome. It's this thing where- Actually, it's called Gaming Disorder. You can look it up. What? Well, uh, okay. Oh my god. What do you think about the Mario movie? The trailer looked nice. My favorite part was just Jack Black's performance as Bowser. He's just so good at what he does. Most hated weapons, sub, and special. Explosure, Sprinkler, and Stingray. Favorite weapon in Splatoon 3? At the moment, this bad boy. How many controllers have you broken in your lifetime? I've broken a DS before. Does that count? What's your favorite holiday? 
Christmas! Any editing tips and advice for YouTube? Don't edit your videos too much, keep it simple, and add some funny stuff on moments you think are funny. In terms of YouTube, my advice is that I suggest checking out creators you like, taking notes of what they make, their editing styles, etc. Add your own flair to the content you want to make. It's also best to prioritize you having fun on YouTube than caring about the numbers, unless you want it to be more of a serious hobby and a potential job. There's also burnout, it's always something to keep wary of as well. Don't strain yourself just to satisfy the YouTube algorithm. If you're not feeling well, don't force yourself to make content, because at the end of the day, health always comes first over the internet. Do you think you'll still be making Splatoon 3 quarter content when you- Wait. Do you think you'll still be making Splatoon 3 4 content when you hit 100k? I'm guessing you meant Splatoon 3 and 4? <laughs> I hope so, although I'm not guaranteed to be reaching 100k because when you're in the Splatoon community, one creator reaches it once every blue moon. I gotta work hard and consistently if I want to reach that number, so that's what I'm gonna try to do. What would you do if you had to quit or never did YouTube in the first place? I probably would have been focusing all my time just working on myself and my personal career and putting all my productivity towards college, even though, not gonna lie, I'd rather be doing this instead. <laughs> What's your favorite stage so far? Favorite item? overall. I like Hammerhead Bridge the most so far. Gonna go with Callie from the Squid Sisters to show how much of an OG I am. What do you think about the stringers? They're cool. I can't say I know how to use the tri-stringer since it requires precise aim, but the reflux is the best compensation. How did you feel getting three straight videos with at least 100k views? Here's the perfect video to summarize how I felt during the time. Did you remember some of the old videos that you made? Yes, and I wish I didn't. Who or what inspired you to start creating Splatoon-related content? Fantastic! I like his editing and his humor. It's what drove me to make Splatoon content even more. What's your favorite SpongeBob character? I like Plankton. He's so goofy and hilarious as a villain. Are you looking forward to Big Run? What are your opinions on the mode? Absolutely. The concept of Salmon Run but on multiplayer stages is so cool to me, and it sounds like it'll bring more to the table. Any favorite musical artists or groups? Maroon 5. What's your favorite color? It was yellow, but now it's more like this. It's so cool. I got plenty of questions regarding the Splatoon 3 DLC, so let's combine them all into one. I don't know what to guess what Nintendo might do with the DLC, but we know for sure that it's going to share with us a lot of lore. We do know it's going to be about off the hook, maybe like an origin story, or the aftermath of what happened right after the Splat 2 Final Fest. One thing I'd add to it is more ink colors, because it's only yellow ink and Alterna. It would be nice to see some variety. And if I were to make DLC for Splat 3, it'd just be bringing back Bluefin Depot to get fans excited, and then bringing back Camp Triggerfish just to trigger some people. Ah. Favorite Nintendo girl? I don't know. What is a franchise that you think is extremely underrated and deserves more credibility? Atelier Ryza! Would you use Hydra with more run speed up on Splat 3 for zones? Maybe. That sounds cool. Will Nintendo create a new Splatoon 4? We're like two months into Splatoon 3. We don't know what's gonna happen for the rest of the game's lifespan. We don't know if there is gonna be a Splatoon 4. Favorite Splatoon game and why? Splatoon 3 is my top Splatoon game. It's something that Splatoon 2 should have been. A true sequel to the original. Favorite boss fight in Splatoon 3? I liked all the boss fights, but I'll have to go with Big Man because of how much it reminded me of Super Mario Sunshine. When I first played the fight, I didn't think much of it at first, but then I realized, oh yeah, this game gave me PTSD. How would a perfect day play out? My perfect day would be just not to worry about deadlines and relax from everything. Sometimes I lay on a field of grass, which helps me tranquilize, explore areas that I've never been to before, and just be with my friends. Do you have any pets and have you ever played Animal Crossing? The first question, no, I don't have any pets. The second question, yes I have! There's a video on my channel that you can check out where I play the first ever Animal Crossing game in my life, which was New Horizons. Do you have an accent? This one's weird because my voice just goes all over the place. I think there's a tiny bit of American in my accent, despite me living in Europe all my life. What content would I post if the Splatoon series came to an end? 500 videos of me crying while playing Mario because Splatoon died. And I'm gonna have to end it here. I did not expect this many questions and I didn't get to answer all of them in this video, but no worries, I'll get to the rest of the questions in the comment section of my Q&A announcement video. Thanks so much for getting me this far, for watching my stuff, and for just enjoying my stupidity. I can't wait to see what happens next for myself and the channel, and I know that I'll keep trying to keep you gamers entertained. That being said, I'm going to now edit my next video. Have a good one. Bye!